In today's video, we're going to show you how to literally rhyme any word that you come across. The beauty of the system you're about to learn is that it first and foremost works with any word of any length. So even nonsense words like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious work, and even better, it can be used for any language or even between languages, such as rhyming bonjour with long sword or k pasta with fake rasta. Also, you won't need any rhyming dictionary or rhyming websites to do this which is an extra bonus because you won't need to have any crutches now we're confident this system will work for you as well since we've been coaching people how to rap as the number one subscribe youtube channel on learning rapping for almost 10 years now and everything you learn will be simple and straightforward since all you need to perform these easy steps to rhyme any word and learn how to rhyme and rap is an alphabet the ability to count syllables and somewhere to write down your rhymes so without further ado let's teach you how how to rhyme and rap and how to rhyme any word in 10 easy steps now as a quick intro before step one if you've arrived at this video with the intention of learning how to rap be sure to pick up our free how to rap dictionary where we'll give you the top 100 words that every rapper knows in order to become a professional level artist by clicking the first link in the video description now step number one is choose a one syllable word the first step is to pick your word make sure that it's one syllable because once you learn this system you're going to be able to mix and match syllables but we'll start with a very simple style and then build from there so choose a one word syllable let's go with the word flows for example step two is write an alphabet with your word above it write the alphabet from letters a to z on a notepad or in a notes app the reason for this will be explained in the next step but for now just write the entire alphabet with one letter for each line then put your chosen word to rhyme above so in our case we have flows at the top this is to help remind you of what word you're trying to rhyme at all times step number three is write your word on the same line as the letter it starts with next write your word a second time down next to the letter that it starts with so in this case you would place the word flows next to the letter f since it starts with that letter so at this point you should have the word flows at the top you should have the alpha bet down the page and you should have the word flows next to the letter f the next step is where the magic really starts to happen step four is write all one syllable words that have the same ending as your original word all right so the next thing i want you to do is write all of the words you can think of that have the exact same ending as far as pronunciation but not necessarily spelling because english is weird as the word you're trying to rhyme but with a different beginning based on the first letter it uses so the easiest way to learn this and get good at this is by going down the alphabet so let's give you an example in our case the letter a doesn't work that well because that word would be aos which would sound weird but i mean you could do something like aos as in the greeting ao as in when i walk down the block i hear so many aos because of the way that i make flows but that's a little advanced so let's keep this simple with this in mind go to the letter b let's start there so you have the word bows as in tying a bow so write that down. But you also have the word blows. You also have the word bros. So write that. Next, go to the letter C. All right. You have the word chose. You have the word crows. You have the word close and so on. So now just take a minute and notice that just by doing this alphabet trick, running down the alphabet and finding words that have the same ending but different starts, you already have five to six words that rhyme with your original word flows in our case in just a few short seconds. So you can use the system to quickly come up with one syllable rhymes for any word at any time but things get even deeper in the next step step number five is write all one syllable words to rhyme that have a different ending so stretch rhymes now if you notice all of the words we chose there <laughs> are perfect rhymes meaning that as far as pronunciation goes uh, there's another rhyme you can put that on g they rhyme perfectly with no need to stretch or morph anything about the way you're saying them but you can actually rhyme even more with words using this system if you just change the ending of the word a little bit but still use the alphabet trick so let's go back to the top of the alphabet and start trying to stretch rhyme words with flows well so if we go back to the letter b we already have the perfect rhymes such as bros and blows but what if we added the word boats 
to it, right? I'm sliding on these flows like I'm riding on some bows. See what we did there? It's not a perfect rhyme, but we adjust the ending and the enunciation a little bit, and now it's commonly accepted as a rhyme in the listener's ear for rap. Therefore, you can access tons of more words using the stretch rhyme method, such as with the letter C. They drowning in these flows till your man's is finna choke, right? Stretch rhyme choke flows. The letter D, they addicted to these tracks like dope. Fans want to wrap my flows and so on. Step number six is write another alphabet and choose another word. So now that you know how to find rhymes for any words on a one syllable basis, let's show you how to make your rhymes more advanced. You see, up to this point, we've shown you how to rhyme words on a one syllable basis, which is the building block for any person to be able to rap. Most raps have at least a few one syllable rhymes. Entire careers are based on this simple direct rhyme scheme. However, if you notice when you only rhyme one syllable at a time it starts to sound like some 1980s simple rap elementary stuff especially if you add the 1980s voice when you rhyme that sick with the flows yeah i gotta go you know what i'm saying <laughs> so what if we were able to right here right now make your rhyme sound even more advanced instantly by adding another syllable to rhyme right next to the first syllable Let's do that. So for this, what we want you to do is write another alphabet right next to the first and choose another word to rhyme with. And then of course, write it at the top. So in this case, let's choose the word man is in like, listen to this man flows. So I write the word man at the top of the second alphabet. Also, of course, be sure to write the word man next to the letter M on your second alphabet as well. Step number seven, go through the same process as steps number four and five. Now, the next step is simply go through the same process for rhymes with man that you did with flows, finding both perfect and stretch rhymes along the way down the alphabet. So in this case, you can go with hand, stretch rhyme grand, can't, etc. Now, this may seem intense at first if you've never done this before, but trust me, over time, you will and can be able to do this without even needing a page to write it down. This is part of the way people are able to freestyle rap off the top effortlessly without stopping. They have mentally internalized the ability to create rhymes out of thin air, so to speak, by essentially learning this process by mental muscle memory. Don't believe me? Why is it that there are literally thousands of people that can freestyle off the top around the planet rhyming about things around them. It's because they have learned a process like this one where they can create rhymes from their mind. So if thousands of people around the world in many languages can do this, you can do it too. If you'd like to speed up that process, check out our freestyle course, Freestyle Fortnite, How to Master the Art of Freestyle Rap in Two Weeks or Less by clicking the second link in the video description where we will teach you exactly how to create more rhymes out of thin air in 14 days or less while rhyming off the top. Anyway, once you have two nice full columns of perfect rhymes and stretch rhymes, you can move on to the next step. All right, step number eight is mix and match the columns to find good multi-syllable rhymes. Multi-syllable rhymes, of course, being words or phrases that rhyme multiple syllables. Now look at your page. You should have a nice big library of rhymes to choose from. But if you notice, the words next to each other may not have a logical connection. So for example, brand and flows may not have an easy connection for you to make a punchline out of. So you wouldn't want to rhyme those together. But hand and blows, as in I hit you with hand blows, and man and flows, so you can mix and match those to create a rhyme like hit you with hand blows for dissing this man's flows or did you wonder where your fans go they listen to this man's flow even better you can actually find two syllable words that work in this system and rhyme with the combined syllables so what if i was to create a punchline like for dissing this man's flows i hit you with hand blows like the wick of a candle now, see what I did there? I took a two-syllable word that has the same rhymes of each individual column. By doing it that way, I open up a huge world of possibilities. Now, I can not only rhyme candles with man's flows, I also have other two-syllable words at my disposal, such as sandals, shambles, or even Thanos. And that's how you get interesting and original rhymes like, I could hit you with hand blows like the wick of some candles, you whack, my bar snap like the fingers of Thanos. Etc. Now we go even further into this in our beginner to Eminem rhyme schemes video, which you can find by visiting the third link in the video description or just up on the screen. But let's lock in what we just did there in the next step. Step number nine is choose a two syllable word and split it into two columns. Okay, so now you inherently know that you can find a two syllable word that rhymes with two individual words and it sounds more advanced than just rhyming one syllable word. Even better with rhymes like man flows and Thanos, you know that 
names can rhyme with individual words in combination. So let's take a name like Ali, as in Muhammad Ali, and see what we can find. The name Ali has two syllables, so much like we did there in the last step, split Ali into two syllables with two columns, placing each syllable at the top. Go through the same process as steps six through eight. Next, you can go through the same alphabet process, finding possible rhymes and then mixing and matching. Sometimes what you'll find is you don't even need to wait to split the words in two. So for example, as I'm saying this, I can already think of Badi and Ali as rhyming, which is nice because they are both logically connected. So once you've gone through the mix and match process, you should have a bunch of two syllable rhyme patterns to work with on the name Ali. You could create lines like, if cats wanna try me, I'm jabbing a body like an accurate Ali or whatever. And this skill can extend to three or even four syllable words even more. That's where you get lines like, in a battle I can see your belief caving in, cause I stole your girl faster than Pete Davidson or whatever. And as a bonus, let's do the Eminem orange test, right? So let's end with a fun bonus. Slim Shady fans will notice that Eminem has actually described a lot of what we taught here today when he mentioned that while nothing rhymes perfectly with orange, right? People are always like, well, rhyme with orange, nothing rhymes with orange. You can split it into two like we've done and rhyme door hinge. And then all you have to do is find something that rhymes with door hinge, like more cringe and so on. However, you can even do one better if you focus on just rhyming the ending and enunciation the stretches, right? So you can also rhyme orange with Jordans and soaring. And then you will have tons of rhymes with those words, just like foreign, boring, orange, more, right? Therefore, don't feel scared to stretch a little farther to get the best rhymes if you can. And feel free to come back to this video anytime you're having trouble or feeling stuck and go through the process again. Just don't give up and do not just stop after three minutes. Like, I don't want to see you in the comments like, oh, I just, I can't. Push through over time and your mind will get used to it. And then that two to three minutes will turn into two to three seconds. Trust me. All right. Now, I want to see you in the comments based on what you learned. Give us your best rhyme scheme or punchlines for how to rap and remembering to rhyme all three syllables. So like just quickly, is there a channel better than how to rap? I'm doubting that. I watched some of their videos and I'm about to nap, right? You see what I'm doing there, but do your own. <laughs> so I appreciate you watching. This was an intense one, but we want to give you the big value. See in the comments with your rhymes for how to rap and I'll see you on the next one.